turn on garage light. Okay. I have checked my pump in every mirror in my house, including the windows in the cars in my driveway, as well as the sliding glass door in my backyard. If you're like me, you also know what combination of mirror and lighting in your house will give you the sickest look to your physique. I did not want the same lighting that everyone else on the internet is doing, which is these cheap uh, LED light strips that you just install and it makes your garage super bright and it's cheap but that is not the look I wanted. I wanted something very specific to make my physique look better than it actually is. It's that same lighting effect that you get when you're in the gym locker room after your workout and that overhead lighting from the right angle gives you those shadows on your physique that just looks so crazy. I wanted that effect in my garage. And I also wanted the ability to change the color and the brightness of the lights in my garage so that I could achieve different looks for filming. Uh, sometimes when you're filming, you wanna have an overhead light. Now I have five installed overhead lights where I can change the color, the temperature, the brightness of those lights individually. But if you wanna see exactly how I did it so you could do it too, uh, this video is gonna cover step-by-step -step exactly what I did. It really was not that difficult. There was one step that was pretty challenging, but once that was over, the rest of the install was super easy, so. Here we go. To find where I wanted to install my new light fixtures, I turned off all the lights in my garage, I mounted a portable LED light to the end of my tripod, and I held it up to the ceiling so I could check how I looked in the mirror under the different locations. From this, I figured out that a light above my head about a foot in front of me is the best light to show off my physique. I also wanted a light that would allow me to take progress pictures and videos from the middle of my garage. I placed one bulb over the wall rack so it would be in the perfect position when I'm doing a lift in front of the rack. The second fixture I placed to give the best possible light when I'm taking progress pics. The third fixture is just for extra light. I placed it in equal distance between the first two fixtures and midway between the garage door and the line that connects the first two light fixtures. I also replaced the existing recessed light with a new fixture. And this gave me four light fixtures so I could perfect my overall lighting setup. I decided to keep it cheap and simple. I went with these porcelain fixtures that cost $3 each. I wanted a fixture that I could install a standard light bulb in and had a low profile so my garage door could still open. I like the retro, simple look that these gave me. The most important and expensive part of my installation were the Philips Hughes Smart Bulbs. This set of four bulbs cost $154 before tax. I wanted to be able to change the color and the brightness of each bulb individually, and I wanted my Alexa to be able to turn them off and on. I have one of these bulbs in my bedroom and they are awesome, so I knew that it would do everything I wanted. To install the fixtures, I needed three old work round electrical boxes. These boxes cost $4 each. I also needed 25 foot of 14 2 electrical wire. That cost about $20. Luckily, I have a friend who renovates homes. He's an electrical engineer and we did a trade where I came out to his house and spent about six hours helping him plant some trees and dig some holes basically giving him manual labor and he agreed to come out and help me install these light fixtures and wire them. The first step is drilling the fixture holes in the correct locations. This is where I had my one minor setback. Every garage gym project that I have done so far, I have had at least one issue that has set me back. Luckily, this one was super minor. It wasn't that big of a deal. For every hole that I drilled, I checked to make sure there was not a stud underneath the drywall. On the third hole, based on the standard distance between rafters, I knew there should not be a stud where I was drilling. So I decided to just go for it. And there was a stud there. Here, you know, we didn't freaking check with the drill. We should have drilled a little holes to check. Okay. There might be a stud right there. A little further, keep going. There is a stud right there. Those sons of bitches. Dude, why didn't we check with the freaking drill? Damn it. 
We should have checked with the drill. We did it every other time. I had to screw the drywall piece back in place and then drill a new hole next to the stud. It was an easy fix. It only put me back about five minutes. Once all the holes are drilled, I needed to climb into the attic and run the new cable. Now, this is where my buddy saved me so much work. What my buddy did is he spliced all the new fixtures into the existing wiring box. The only thing he had to do in the attic was cut the wire to the correct length and then lay it out so that it went through the holes we had already drilled. And then he brought all three of those additional wires back to the electrical box that had power going to it. This entire process of cutting the wire and laying them out in the attic took about 10 minutes which in Arizona, it was over 100 degrees this day. I weigh 260 pounds. My buddy was able to scramble through the attic like a ninja, only putting weight on the rafters and not caving in the drywall ceiling. I was so glad that he did this part for me because I don't know if I could have actually done it to get the wire all the way to that furthest hole. The cool part was he then did all the wiring from below on a ladder at each fixture and we were done with climbing in the attic. I did not capture the wiring on camera. I am not an electrician or an expert on wiring. If you want to do your own wiring, there's a ton of great videos on YouTube that explains exactly how to split an extra outlet off of an existing outlet. If you're lucky, you have a friend like I do, but the steps were pretty simple. You shut off the power at the circuit breaker. You find the wire that runs to the existing outlet. He spliced all three additional fixtures into this first outlet box. And then you go to each individual outlet and connect the wires through the electrical box into your light fixture. Once everything was spliced together, I connected the wires to the porcelain fixtures and attached the fixtures to the box. All right, on three. One, two, three. Oh yeah! You smell smoke? <laughs> Here is the finished product. I can change the colors. I found that making the light above where I'm standing a yellowish white color and all the rest a different shade gives a really cool look in the mirror. With the Philips Hue app, you can create scenes that adjust all the bulbs to preset settings. And this is what I call rage mode. This is what I call chill mode. This is my progress picture mode. Here is what my progress pictures used to look like in the garage. And here is what they look like now. Turn on garage light. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's it. If you want to see the garage gym build from start to finish, hit subscribe. That video is going to be coming soon because the garage gym is done. If you want to see how I did on my 120 day transformation or on my 21 day water fast, check out one of these videos. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Keep grinding. More cool stuff to come.